Hold up. Hold up. My poppy little man just had to bring that back one more time. One more time. What's going on? What's going on? It's Wednesday. It's Wicked Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. What it do Wednesday? Hold up. It's your boy back in the building. Mr. L.A. Runs Dallas. And I think this is the cue where I say, Welcome to the home of the organically fabricated, culturally uncultured, specifically unspecified, hun radio podcast. Huh? No, I'm right. And you were here with the dynamic duo, the cousins, the ones that do it better than all the other ones. And here we are again in a place to be because it's your boy L.A. It's your, it's your boy L.A. And your favorite cousin Ace. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, we still working out the case. We got it going on, <laughs> making moves, thanking God. M M T G. Yeah. Ace, what it do? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It is August the nineteenth. Uh huh. Got the date right on nose today. Did it. And mm-hmm. we are proud to bring you. Apathetically appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every Wednesday at Ooh. eight seven Central. Yes. For the best use at wasting your time. Uh. That you can't get back. And remember the uh. golden rule. We always right. That's what we is. That's what we do. Always. So, it's a new day. It's a new week. We smack dab in the middle of August. Back to school. Back to school. The chillings is back to school virtually. The teachers. I got an off-site producer that is giving me the evil look right now. Because she is one of the many... Hard-working, dedicated professionals that's coming to mold the minds of the youth and make them better for tomorrow. Yeah. The Trumps of the future is what they try to make. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like that now. I like that now. So, first day of school for the kiddos? For your kiddo? No. For my little my, my little peoples? No? Nope. Our first day was August 10th. August 10th? Yeah. Okay. That was what was on paper. We started on August the twelfth. So we ain't gonna tell nobody. Officially, we have everybody, everybody. back in school, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So you got parents out there fighting over Chromebooks and all kinds of craziness going on. All kinds of mess yeah. going on. If I'm not mistaken, is this episode forty? I believe minus one. That'd be thirty nine. 39? Yeah, 39. Yeah, because last week was 38. And. Yeah. Sp- speaking of 39. Mm. Somebody is. Is, is somebody. Is cre- is, is, what? September comes. Somebody real we quickly. know that's, that's in our family is a Virgo. Their birthday is next month. We'll discuss that then. <laughs> uh, you don't want to tell it on yourself? I mean, well, you, you don't want to tell it on them now? You know, I'm a ripe young age, and, you know, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm always younger than you and uh, oh. look better than you mm. and uh, holding my age gracefully okay. than you. So uh, That's we'll, Bernard with the good hair. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But <laughs> I checked the COVID numbers. Mm-hmm. What'd you find? Tell me about it. It seems like today is the first of many firsts. That the numbers is finally down. A little bit. A little bit. A little less than, than 200. But they're not going to stay down, is they? Mm. Because, see, <clears throat> coming up in September, mm-hmm. besides a, a holiday, which we all know is coming so right. Besides that holiday, in September, children is going back to school. Am I right? You're absolutely correct. So they're not just going to be watching the screen like you are watching us every Wednesday. They are going to be involved in day-to-day school activities. La escuela. So, AC. Yeah? When they return to school, Uh are the children wearing masks? So, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Mm. They're supposed to have their mask on. Parents are supposed to be teaching them uh, coronavirus etiquette mm-hmm, mm-hmm. prior to the start. However, right. if you're not doing it now and you haven't been doing it all this time, it's going to be kind of hard to get your children to remember mm-hmm, what mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. in two weeks. Okay. Speaking of, 
do you do you know the the the, the uniforms, right? Mm-hmm. Kids wear uniforms. Uh-huh. Um and whenever the uniforms is not present, uh-huh. what happens to the children who show up out of dress code? So typically they would be sent home or their parents would be made to bring them a uniform but okay. supposedly this year they're making an exception so they're trying to be understanding and say that they know okay hey a lot of the suppliers they don't have you know your school crescent or a badge or whatever so as long as they're neat and clean we're all good supposedly though. so since that's the case but they are required to wear masks. Required to wear masks. Are we yes. swapping the dress code punishment for not wearing uniforms? To not wearing masks. To not wearing masks. You know what? I would hope so. I would hope that them not wearing a mask would definitely be a violation. But who knows, right? Because schools are definitely unpredictable. When it comes to making exceptions for certain things. But I think that people are so scared of COVID-19 that they won't be making exceptions for face masks. So, if you show up without a face mask. Send their little ass home. They're going to be sent home. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I would do. They are. Okay, amen. So, I got confirmation off-site. Teachers saying they will be sent home. Why would the school not provide a temporary mask for the children? Now that's a really good question. We only got a limited amount of supplies. Mm, PPE. We got pretty much ten. So limited mm. amount of supplies. Mm-hmm. Ten per student. How long have we been? How, how long have we been wearing masks and making masks and dealing with coronavirus and all of that? But see, this is the thing. Okay. Some schools are staying virtual all year, so they're not expecting a lot of students to return. So actually, 10 masks per student is actually kind of good. Now, I don't foresee them sending them home if they have a supply like that. However, you know some of these teachers don't be want to deal with these badass kids. Let's just so, be real. So are they going to send the kids home on the first offense? I don't think they should. That's my personal opinion, though. I think you should get one opportunity to mess up. You know, we, we just one. Just well, one. just just so you know, you're all welcome to come to Chime in. MMTG Clothing on Instagram. And if you okay. need any mask okay. for whatever school, you know, if you want to represent yourself in your own creative way, what? directly from the Drip King CEO here, I will be more than happy to supply the needs of the children of the future. Well, that's going to be exciting. So, I'm all for it. Y'all, come on down. Come on. I got you taken care of. I might be looking for a second job. You know, I mean, hey, uh, the last guy, we didn't have funds for the last guy that was in your seat, but (laughs) I definitely think, AC, we can do a little something for you. I'm with it. and, And speaking of AC, she had, you know, asked me out, you know, pre show meeting. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. You know, things happen, folks. Don't worry. We still here. We live. We ain't gone nowhere. We doing it live. Yeah. And so y'all can catch all the ins and outs and everything that goes on. It's just for you. We are doing it for you. Yeah. So. Real time bloopers. AC had me up in the hallway for the show. You know, she had to get by security, but it's my cousin, so that's fine. So <laughs> she had me in the hallway, and then she just roughed me up and by the collar and said, hey. I got a few things I want to present on the show today. I said, hey, come on. It's, it's our show that I built, but it's our show, though. So I'm welcoming you, you know, unlike previous hosts that we had, I welcome the idea of new information, new ideas, new creativity. So AC is nothing. Go ahead and take it away. See, we's married now. That's we're what connected. we connected. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so half of yours is mine and half of mine is ours. Well, we'll talk about your math skills and uh, uh, later to see if we need to add one more to the enrollment on uh, the school, please. AC. Okay. Thank you. You would that yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. What you got? So I was reading in um 
Yahoo Sports, I believe it was. Tiger Woods. Uh oh. You're hearing Tiger Woods caddied for his son in a, in a junior golf tournament. Is this women with, with, with women in sports? It's women in sports. Okay. Woo -woo. It's a women in sports moment. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So Tiger Woods, he did what? Tiger now? Woods, he caddied for his son in his yeah. junior golf tournament. In his junior golf tournament. Okay. And so guess what? What happened? Little Charlie won. Charlie Woods. Charlie Woods. Hey, girl. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie Woods. Well, but... It's Woods, though. It's Woods. Woods. <laughs> I got a little carried away. I got a little carried away. So, Charlie Woods. Charlie Woods won his junior golf tournament with his, with his daddy with, by his with side. With his daddy, with his Waffle House waitress, <laughs> they daddy right behind him. Huh? Yeah, he did a little something. Did School little something. him. Was, I wonder, was he schooling him on how to pick up cheese? Don't take that advice, little Charlie. No. Okay, don't Charlie, take that. Charlie, uh, your that's daddy's gonna, still taking school lessons that's, himself. That's so going to cost you. It's going to cost you. Well, congratulations, Charlie Woods. Um, Congrats, boo-boo. I, I think it's fine that you brought that up because I actually would like to uh, play a little something that... Um, a, a special radio station that I listen to. Okay. Um, uh, from my boys, y'all remember when Donovan and Mike Soror was on the show from the ticket. Well, there's a YouTube video mm. that plays the um, ringtone of Tiger Woods leaving a voicemail for one of his lady friends <laughs> requesting that she. <laughs> Not pick her phone up in case a number she don't know calls her. Not only to do that, but to also change the name on her oh, phone. Oh, <laughs> so that, you know what? I don't want to tell you. Let me just play it for you. Horrible. Take it off, please. It's a nice little remix, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> the singers. Listening to so that, much there. Horrible. <laughs> Only Tiger Woods, though. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Can you please take your name off of your phone? Off your phone. Damn, is he even paying the bill? My wife could be calling. <laughs> She's dialing from my number. So please take your name off your phone. She went through mine. God. And she may be calling you. Oh my God. God. There's so much there. Okay. So are we unraveling this? I'm trying to figure out here. Okay, so we had the the main singer. Take your you know, name off and then the background phone. singers was just, it was going in. And then the was it actually did they break it down like in the sixties and seventies R and B? And had the love making sounds on that too. Yeah. Because I heard the uh, All I'm seeing uh, is shag uh, carpets uh, and uh, air fresheners uh, hanging from uh, the uh, rearview mirror. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Scooby um, doing the background somewhere. Ooh, okay. So, Amber. Mm -hmm. 
take your name off of your phone. I ain't doing it. What? So does that really help? Does that help the situation? No. It does not. So why is it that Tiger Woods feels so inclined to let this young lady know that she needs to take her name off? Because, and then it's, you're recorded saying it. Mm -hmm. And so some people that went and read me. And found it and put it to a tune. <laughs> It's going to be number one on iTunes in a minute. But, hey, congratulations, Charlie. Yes. You know, your dad got a number one hit. Ah. He's a number one pro golfer, and you won your first tournament. Congratulations. <laughs> what else we got, Emma? <laughs> okay. So, I'm not a big curse word user, so I'm going to bleep myself out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't... Not in the public. Oh, okay, okay. I'm know. a lady. I didn't know I'm we was a lying. lady. I, I didn't know we was lying. God was damn it. Okay. Oh, okay. See. Yeah. See, you don't use those. Okay. What you were saying? My pastor might be watching this. Oh. I gotta be good. Mm, that was a pastor checking in. Hey, Sorry. Pastor yeah. Mike. I love you. He just checked in. Look at. Yeah. It's a good thing. Okay. What'd you say? <laughs> okay. So listen. Right outside of Atlanta, there is a monument. A lot of you may know, a lot of you may not know. Some of us are current on our history and some are not. Okay. But there's a monument. It's called Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain. And in the Stone side, Mountain, Georgia? Yeah. Okay. Right okay. there. Okay. Right there. Right. Stone Mountain. On the side of this mountain, a guy has carved mm. the Confederate Army Sergeant. Mm -mm. Robert E. Lee, mm -mm. Jefferson Davis, and Stonewall Jackson. Do we have a date around a date or whatever when this was done? I believe this was done in 1968. So this was a pretty old monument. It's a there. pretty old monument. Okay. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it is close to or either around or on or somewhere in the same community of the KKK headquarters. Mm, okay. It was rumored that some of the members of the KKK were saying that on the 4th of July, they were going to come just shoot random black people. Mm. So there is a group. So Leopard is not changing their spots is what you're saying. At all. Okay, gotcha. All right. right. Go and then we have this number. I don't even want to give him that much. But no. we have the Orange Bandit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that has given them... Um, this false sense of security. Okay. And uh, got them thinking that we won't whoop their ass, but they know we will. Mm -hmm. See, that's another curse word. No yeah. cursing. No cursing. Pastor. All right. So. Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call them. Yeah. But uh, so they have this group. It's called the NFAC. NFAC. Yeah. Think of what you just just think of what those letters might mean. Now I understand that I'm been a proud member of the IWA. Was it IWANW? There we go. I've been a part of that one for a minute. Okay. You know. Okay. I wish. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I've been a part of IWANW for a minute. Okay. But please tell me what the what is it again? The N N F N F A C. Okay, now you, A C is in there. It so, don't have nothing to do with me, though. Do. Okay, okay. You didn't do found me. this Not organization. No, I didn't okay. do it. All right. so, Although N F A C N F A C. What does that stand for? It's called the Not Fucking Around Coalition. Oh. Oh, that might be an umbrella company of the I W A N W. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, Either way, okay. there are a group of there's a large group of African American people who are proud to be African American, mm -hmm. who believe in the Black Lives Matter movement, who believe in you know justice for those who have been slain, Trayvon Martin, right. uh, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, mm -hmm. Sandra Bland. So they pissed off, right? Right. But what I do credit this group with is they know how to be pissed off. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to be pissed off, but it's another thing to be pissed off and know how to be pissed off. Right. When you know how to be pissed off, you get some things done. Mm -hmm. Now, why I was so proud of these NFA 
AAC members was because they went to Stone Mountain to protest, mm -hmm. right? And when they got there, of course, there were some uh, white supremacy members. Some in of attendance those that were, yeah. to meet them at the door. Mm. Bloop. Okay. Yeah. So what happened was both sides had assault rifles, all kinds of guns. Mm. Nobody was in. Well, I can't say nobody was injured because a lot of people got their ass whooped. But <clears throat> nobody was killed or seriously harmed okay. during this protest. Because they can they can recover from a few two pieces and a pepper. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You yeah. might add a big red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Extra fries, but you you recover. Some trappy so pepper sauce. Yeah. You yeah. know, little with a lot of zing, whatever golden chicks. Are. Yeah. You gonna come back from that? Yeah. Yeah. But I was so proud of them because they went out there, they protested mm -hmm. semi peacefully. Okay. Okay. We can we can kind of peacefully yeah. do that if we need to. Oh, you know what? I brought a picture. Uh oh, we got a picture. We got visual aids. Maybe. Visual aids. No, you guys can see, but that's okay, let's check it out. That's Stone Mountain right there. That's the Stone Mountain. Yeah. That's not Stone Mountain, Georgia. That's just the Stone that's Mountain. That's the Stone Mountain. Ma the monument. Oh, I had it upside down. Okay, one more game for the people. Wait, look, look at that. There you go. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so you can see it. Mm hmm. And it's not like a subtle anything like it's out loud you know and, it's, and and i understood why or i understand why black people why african-american people why brown people are upset right like it's a blatant disrespect to everything that we've gone through as a people in order to oh. be considered equal in order to be considered or in order to fight for our rights right right so I was proud of them. I wanted to highlight that moment. Okay. <laughs> and I'm so, a little late, but. Do they have a website or, uh, you know, something that we can, you know, because I, IWANW don't have a website. Uh, yeah, they still working. Though. Okay. You know, somehow they, they IWANW will make a website. I don't, I don't know how you kind of working against yourself. Some Sometimes you take it too far, which, which is, you know. A little bit. I, I don't, I don't want to say, it. but yeah. So no, no. I, they don't know how to be pissed off just yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Once they once they figure that out, excuse me. But I'm glad we did that in Georgia. It's okay, you know. We can well, belch on. We lie. Right? Yeah. You know they understand. It was from water. Yeah. You know, just a little water. That's all it was. It's okay to burp some water. She's hydrated. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm good. Nothing wrong with that. You know. But yeah, well, that was interesting to me. Okay. Hmm. So, I wanted to touch also today. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Has as AC concluded AC's moment in, in sports and history? Yeah, I think so. Okay. For now. Okay. For now. now. I mean, you know, later we could talk about the Mavs. I want I want to get into it a little on, bit. Okay, we're gonna touch yeah, on that. Yeah, they playing tonight. So yeah, they are playing tonight, and you know, with the, the bubble, you know, the, the bubble. bubble. We're going back to that bubble. Now I'm also ready for football season. Are There's you a not? few things that. I wanted to regale us with as far as in the rules and regulations on football. Okay, okay. Um, before doing so, I did want to piggyback off of last week's um, Where Did It All Go Wrong? Oh, I like that. So, this we had some feedback. Oh, we did. And it's a. What's going on is that we have a torn view on men and women. So I, I want to ask a, a actual question here. I want to get some honest answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's, it's in society's view that men find it very difficult to maintain faithful actions in a committed relationship. That's a viewpoint that's out there that's synonymous with you know stereotypical thinking that's so true though okay men are more subjective to cheating than women or okay. no you know what let ladies let's be real okay <clears throat> men are more subjective to cheating however y'all dumb as hell y'all get caught more well i have to put that out there because you got some fine. slick ass women out there who've been cheating on your ass for 12 years and you don't know it yet that's yeah fine. little runny ain't yours but you ain't figured that out yet right so 
are women truly faithful? Sometimes. It depends. It depends. I just want to know because I just feel like hearing the stories I'm hearing is like men ain't never faithful. So that's kind of true. Though. I'm tr okay. That's fine. I mean, if we, if we have to eat that, let's eat that. But let's figure out: is it the same on the? Are we just not talking about? Are we not finishing the sentence? Men, let me open up the rest of the sentence because you know, men and women are never. <laughs> that's it. Are, are we not finishing a sentence here? Are we going mute? Is it going through a tunnel at the time that we say in the sentence? No. So, so that statement is men can't be faithful in relationships. Men are not faithful in relationships. That's a sentence. Can I put the sentence together for you? Go ahead. All men and some women cannot be faithful. So you're saying that there is a discrepancy in the count of men versus women as far as them being faithful. Definitely, you guys. I'll, I'll okay. take it back though, because I just wanted to put that in there. But there are some men who can and will be faithful, right? So, but then you have more women uh -huh. than men who will be faithful in their relationships. Okay, so let's break that down. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Why do women elect to be faithful versus men? So. Our faithfulness is attached to our love and our feelings. If a woman cheat on you, mm -hmm. it's because you've lost her mentally and emotionally. Mm -hmm. If a man cheat on you, it's because his penis got hard and you weren't there to fix it. So you think that all men cheat solely because of the third leg not solely but most often so why do women cheat the few the the very minute count that y'all have the minuscule little bit you know i know it's blowing your mind to even say women and they cheat in the same sentence it's like that doesn't go together it's like jumbo shrimp or you know it's like it doesn't but it just doesn't make sense to go together women cheating what that's weird it's like, you know, it's like jelly bean spaghetti that doesn't go together. You know, it's like, so just help me. So out. explain to me mm -hmm. when the off chance that a woman cheats, heaven forbid, ooh, ooh. why does that happen? It could be a number of things. Oh, it's a number of them. One of the major it, things. Wait I a think. minute. Is it more of a number of them than the ones that actually account for cheating? So can no. you count more of a number of reasons why than you can count the women that are cheating? You no, know what I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Help me out. Some women cheat because you cheated first. Because you cheated first. You've hurt them. Petty. Betty. Okay, go Over ahead. and over and over again. Because we're Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't let I didn't let you finish. Okay. No, you did it. No. So, so go ahead. yes. Y'all have the tendency to push us to our limits. Mm. And what I mean by that is we catch you cheating, we catch you texting or talking. Okay. And as opposed to you saying, Okay, you know what, I messed up and then I want to do right. Or I messed up, I got caught, let me move on. You try to stick to her and continue to do what you were doing. That's not gonna work. Cause if I told you you was cheating the first time, I know you still cheating. I know. And I'm just waiting for an opportunity for you to wake up and say, okay, you know what? I don't wanna do this no more. But when I get tired, I'm tired. I'm done. When a woman's fed up, Girl, it ain't nothing you, you can do about Kelly, it. Kelly, and he been peeing on y'all since 1983. No, ain't so no y'all. He was peeing on stuff. them. I ain't trying to hear it. You can't quote no R. Kelly song to me. Well, you know what? That wasn't just R. Kelly. A few uh, people yeah, have said that. He the made the song and made it popular. Uh, and y'all, uh, uh, Is this going to be our first ar argument I, on air? I'm just trying to figure out why is it? Because if you just said that 
You, you know what you did? What did I, I asked you a question uh -huh. about women cheating. Uh -huh. And you know what you did? I turned it back on you. You turned it back around to what wow. a man because did I said, instead of answering the question. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, motherfucker. You hurt me. So instead of doing what you just said, uh -huh. why don't you just leave us? If you won't cheat, how many times has a woman tried to leave you because you hurt her and you went to the cheating cheating baby? Don't please leave, don't leave me, don't leave me. You ain't gotta listen to that. You ain't gotta listen to that. If I don't listen to it, your ass gonna stalk me for six months. I ain't stalk nobody. It happened to me too. I ain't stalk you. I left you alone. You left me, baby. You ain't come back. So I had to go about my business and I did so and left you alone. And you tarnish me for leaving. Cousin, did I peel a scab? No, I was sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I love you. It happened a while back. It was you a need long counseling? Time ago. It's a long time okay. ago. I'm delivered. Yeah, all right, y'all. I'm okay. I got it. But, so women only cheat. Not only, just some of us cheat because you hurt us. Some of us cheat because we just hoes. Just like y'all. There it's, are some women so out there who are just You're saying that it's some hoes. In this house. It's okay. some hoes in this house. Okay. If you see them pouring okay. them out. Okay. 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 So, <clears throat> but the only reason a man cheats uh -huh. is because he's a man. Yes. Mm. You tell me why men cheat. You're a man. Let me explain something to you. Okay. I'm ready. Can I take notes? Please, because you don't need them. <clears throat> men have, men have to grow and we have to evolve. Men have to mature. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We already know that when it's growing up, when, me, girls mm -hmm. mature faster than boys. Mm -hmm. So as a result, women will mature faster than men. Mm -hmm. Men are inundated with soiling their royal oats if you will since the beginning of time mm -hmm. we are conquerors if you if you look at it men have to mature from looking at women past a an objective a goal or or something to uh, you know like land or property something that we would have to go conquer you know when you think of it back in in the days of the you know medieval times so to speak um, all those kings will be out procuring land. You know, they get one land and they're the, they're, they run that. Then it's like, oh, well, there's more land over there. Mm -hmm. We can beat them mm -hmm. and take their land. And then I can run that land and then run this land. Mm -hmm. So as you see, that's how we are inundated to think of. Okay. Even since caveman days. Okay. You know, we are trying, the more that we gather, that is seen as being rich. Being so like fat women in Africa are are you know the best let's see i are ob obese heavy set big boned i ain't never like been to africa so i don't really know what they do they be doing oh uh, okay so in africa mm -hmm. the more hefty the woman mm -hmm. the richer she is okay well we'll take that because that means she is storing food like men would get <laughs> land and stuff so that's cool you know that makes sense okay got it so okay. There we go. So when it comes to men procuring things, you know, everything in abundance means more power to us. You know, whoever got the most Nikes back in the day or who got the, you know, mo the biggest rims on the ride. And, you know, as, as time it goes on, we evolve and those things aren't as important anymore. Mm -hmm. So similar to those things, being around lots of women. And or that's why a men like abundantly that. get their asses beat up. Well, hold on a second. Let me just, I'm just helping you out. Okay. So that's why men would, would cheat in a younger age. Mm -hmm. As we get older, uh -huh. men are attempting to um, become men in relationships. Okay. So because during the younger years that men were dating these women and these women became affected emotionally by the younger men mm -hmm. when it's time to 
meet that evolved man and he's with that woman who's not respecting his leadership, you know, his authoritative nature in the relationship. Not to an extent of he runs her, but just he's the leader. He's supposed to lead by example and, you know, set, make the hard decisions and all that kind of stuff, protect and, you know, look after and all that. And so when he's being overran by that woman, and so she's effectively the person in charge, then at some point he gets emasculated. Mm. And then he doesn't feel that his role in the relationship is valid. is valid. He feels like he's one of her children. Okay. So when he is out there starting to do younger man things, like hadn't been to the club in a while, here you go back in it. Hadn't been to a strip club and all of a sudden you want to go to him. You know, hanging with the fellas around these cigar lounges and these single women coming up in there. And you know, He's up there trying to dress and look nice, look how he's looking. And one of them ladies said, boy, he was a strong man. You know, and he talks. And, you know, men has to get off our chest, our feelings. And when he's getting these feelings off his chest to this young lady, this young lady is listening. She was like, well, you are every bit of a man. You should not feel any lesser than. And then he goes home and he feels lesser than. So he goes back to the cigar lounge to the strip club or back to the club where that same lady or other ladies is telling them the same thing. And so then, as he's sleeping, as he's inkling himself over there and getting fed these words of affirmation or whatever his love language is, then all of a sudden he starts to look and she looks, mm, okay. Not only do you respect me as a man and tell me I should be a man, you sure looking good in that dress, girl, I'm that thing. So at that point, that's where the cheating arrives. It's not always about what's between the legs for the man. Sometimes a man doesn't feel like a man in his own home with his own woman. So it ain't right. I ain't come signing up. I'm just telling you like a T.I. All right. I feel good to get that. Out. <clears throat> I'm glad you got all that bullshit out. Fellas, I'm sorry, fellas, I'm Some realness. Well, fellas, okay. I, I know. I, I got you. Fellas, I don't know. dap him I know, up. I know, I know. If you want to stay married yeah. and if you want to stay in the relationship that you're currently in, don't dap his dumb ass up. Not getting treated like a man is not a relationship. I'm just trying to tell you. If you're not getting treated like a man, it's because you show me that you aren't. That's not true. That's very true. Because in the Bible, it tells you that you're supposed to respect a man for being a man off the rip. I can't respect you for being a man just because you have a penis and testosterone. Yes, what the Bible says. If say, you don't show me that you know how to lead me, I can't lead then as a strong woman, me. I'm going to lead my damn self and I'm just going to let you ride in the, in, in the passenger seat. You ain't supposed to lead yourself. That's the problem. You ain't being a proverb. Well, I can't let all. you lead you me the wrong way. You can't just read one part of the scripture and be like, oh, it's only 31 verse 20. No, no, no. It's a whole book of proverbs that you're supposed to be following. You don't go to the section you want to read. Okay, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Mm. Read Proverbs 31. No, if you read find that, you, you a pro proverb, if you find you a Proverbs 31 woman, you'll never feel belittled or emasculated. That means you've got a real woman who knows how to allow you to lead. So because at the, the end of the day, ones. that's really what's happening. So, you don't lead me. I'm allowing you to lead. So, no, nah, you ain't allowing nothing because there's nobody allowed that rib to be taken out of me to make your behind, okay? The Lord did it. He, it wasn't no allowed. He just did it. <laughs> okay. Because you was... Get it, don't get it twisted. He just You did know it. what? He did that because he knew your simple ass wouldn't make it by yourself. He said that he wanted to provide companionship and had he known there was some hoes in this house, he'd have reaped all his position. <laughs> Horrible. I want you to get it right. I want you to get it right. Because I, I know these stallions it. and these ochres ain't what he thought about when he pulled Okay, see, y'all them ain't women. They're females, but they're not women. Y'all chase. Let them tell Y'all chase females, not knowing whether they're a girl, a female, or a woman. You can't wife a girl, you can't wife a female, but you can wife a woman. 
You know why you can wife a woman? Why? Because she knows how to support you. I tell people all the time, and mm -hmm. I just recently told somebody very close to me this very same thing. We didn't talk you about that. You are the head, right? Okay. You make the decisions. You tell us where to go, how to get there. But I'm the neck. I support you. If you didn't have a neck, your head would just be in your shoulders like this, and you'd be looking dumb as hell. That's all right. You might I'm look your dumb, neck. but you got your head on your shoulders. I am your neck. Literally. And I'm going to tell you, you this. You got the head on your shoulders. I'm you can head. get hit in your head a million times, but if your neck gets broken, it paralyzes your whole body. Okay, Dr. AC, I mean, what's just what the hell? Just <laughs> what, did we me. just skip subjects all of a sudden? I'm just Talk, we talk about men, women, Stop too. looking for hoes. Stop looking for the woman who's going to caress and stroke your ego. Look for the woman who's going to support you, who's going to build you, who's going to pray for you when you sleep at night, who's going to be there for you, who's going to be your sounding board. Look for the woman who's going to help you build the business that you've been asking God to give you. Look for the woman who is going to provide not just sex, but intimacy, romance. Look for that woman. Stop looking for these girls with the plastic hair and the red eyelashes that think that Saturday is the, is the, the main day of the week. Look for a woman who works five days a week, but still makes time to be there for you. Still makes time to please you. Still makes time to cook you dinner, rub your feet. Look for that. Oh, now it's crickets. First of all, now it's crickets. First of all, all, you don't, you're not ready. First of all, stop making shit up because don't none of y'all do half the shit. Half y'all niggas can't cook as it is, okay? Y'all go in there and put some noodles in the microwave and the alarm start going off. Then you don't even <laughs> change the battery in the fire alarm. It be beeping. Oh, I be, I'm like, how you gonna change your. <laughs> Listen here. And that's why you stuck looking like Listen that. Listen here. Let me tell you this, okay? I have an amazing business. Okay. But business if you had a business. woman on your side, the last your time business would be I even better. You didn't have a woman. You had a hoe that was looking for something that was going to maybe take her somewhere and it didn't go nowhere. It's different. It's different. And Cousin, it's different. And the money hit different in the cash app when I ain't buying no nails and Oh well, that's your damn fault. You shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. Yeah, you do. You're no, do that. you're supposed to hook up. You're supposed to you do, do that, that for your wife. And I was doing no. I I haven't been to a wedding. What? I haven't been to an engagement you party. You can do that for your lady friend. You can no. Do that. Yeah, you can. No. You can. Okay. Well, then you keep messing with your hoes and you no. Now, forever hold be on. single. Women like to be courted. Women like to be spoiled with gifts. But and all paying that. for my nails is not courting me. That's what y'all don't understand. That's what courting me for. is mentally. It's what you ask for. Okay, so look, I'm a sapiosexual. Do you know what that means? It means that you like dating saps named. <laughs> it, 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 you know? <laughs> no! It and means that in order to get to my body, you have to get to my mind first, right? I can get my own nails done. I pay my own car note. I pay all of my rent by myself. All of my bills. I care for my children. All them children. Nigga. Say B.O. I just got two, y'all. <laughs> anyway. By Mr. Sapio. Hey, anyway. Sapio. <laughs> he wasn't a Sapio. That's why he ain't here he today. He was sexual with Sapio. Hey, Sapio. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. I can provide for myself. Mm-hmm. I want you to give me the things that I can't give myself. Love. Companionship. Mm -hmm. I want to rub feet with you in the bed at night. Not foot. Feet. Feet. You got to make it sound sexy. I want to rub feet with you at night. Yeah, I want to be like able to lay in like your that, chest and hear your heartbeat as I fall to sleep. Are you going to say the talk on me? I... I will if I need to. No, you don't have to because you're going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> women, we're simple. Y'all make us more complicated than we are. <laughs> Whoa. No, you did not I get over here and blasphemously say that men make women more difficult. Yes. Girl, have you met a woman? Because apparently, don't nobody got to make y'all be difficult for shit. Let me tell you something. You busted your own story when you started this conversation because yeah, you know nah. what you said? Go ahead. You said women mature faster than men. Okay. And a lot of times women have to deal with men before they mature. Okay. And y'all still complex as a motherfucker. 
No. When y'all turn 11, if y'all I start had having to... blood spout out and don't know what's going on and start crying. Y'all are complex creatures from top to bottom. Even your own body don't know what the hell they want to do. All y'all trying to do is play and be a little musty out there and play a game. Then all of a sudden, blood start trickling down your leg. And you don't know what happened. That is your not body, how it happens. I don't, hey, I'm just saying that guys ain't got to do nothing. We I fight, wish you had a we cycle. poop, and we piss. And that's it. I said poop. <laughs> Whatever. You don't you're not ready. You are not we ready. Work, we poop, we you fart, are we not piss. ready. That's what you I'm are to do. not ready. When you get and ready, speaking of ready, you come talk. Let me let me I'm going to talk you about something else. <laughs> Another thing that goes on. Mm -hmm. Two instances, two things I be seeing that women is posting and I'm talking about women that got kids and this married and they got all that good stuff. They, why, is, why am I seeing one, one, why am I seeing memes go on, oh, men will flirt with you on every app except cash app. <laughs> That's a good one. That's not a good one. That is a ridiculous one. Why? Okay. Why? Okay. What, what is that? What do you mean cash app? That's funny. It's not funny. It is. It's ridiculous. It is, but it's funny. No, no, I didn't laugh at all. Why you didn't laugh? Because it was not funny. Uh, so you're not flirting on Cash App then? Hell no. <laughs> you you should be what? flirting on Cash App. You better Cash App me for that birthday shirt that you want or that or whatever logo for your business or whatever. <laughs> or some drip merchandise. Oh, drip. That's what you better be Cash App in me. I receive Cash App. I don't send them. Well, don't send them. Secondly. But you pay for nails. I, I did. And hers. Did. And eyelashes. Love. Mm. What you won't do for love. I'm telling you. But anyway, the second thing. You tried everything. Everything. And it gave up on me. <laughs> gave up on me. <laughs> love left me. I was standing here. Went to go to the punch bowl to get us a drink. Came back. Love was gone. Told me, here you go, go ahead and kick the football. T set the football down, I'm Charlie Brown coming on up there and yanked it from me. Uh -huh. That's what love did to me. Okay. The second problem I got with these women, mm -hmm. only y'all like air quotes. is going to turn around and make a website mm -hmm. to show y'all acting like hoes and label it only fans. Okay, mm. I'm lost. I'm not following. Oh, you haven't heard of the new craze? Uh-huh. Anytime there's a craze coming up, women have started it, okay? Only time is a okay. craze coming up, it's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, the twerk craze was women. Bullshit. Right. TikTok going the way it went was women. Bullshit. And now, women is out here creating what they call OnlyFans page. Sound like some bullshit. Which is a a a porn hub light for them to get on there and take all these provocative pictures in the words of Pimp C selling naked ass oh. for people to sign up to memberships or waiting for when the next time this woman is gonna post some more provocative pictures of her naked ass. Well sex has always sold. And it's still selling. And, and you know who's will. selling it? Women. It ain't women. I keep. Oh them. no, boo! You can't. You can't sep You can't segregate from them all. It's either woman or yay. When you separate them to men and women, these women falls under your people, and they on your side of the kickball team. When you separate men, boys and the girls from kickball, women, all them hoes, the Megan Stay, all of them is with you. They hanging right next to Michelle Obama's and all them. They right next to them. If we got to take all the fellas. Y'all got to take all the women. And them OnlyFans, TikTok, Pornhub, it just, it's all on your team. Okay. When you check a box, you check a box for male or female, not man or woman. That's what I'm talking about. Those well, are not women. Those are females. It's yep. totally different. And, that, and they're on your side. <sighs> okay. I could, I'll take them, though. I could put that on my back because you know what? I'm a good woman. I, 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 I said it. I'm a good woman. I can speak for me. I know what my vagina do and don't do. I'm a good woman. It better not do nothing, cousin. 
I know that much. Oh, I got two kids. Okay, well, the osmosis or something, because I don't osmosis. know, adopted or, I, yeah, exactly, because it, it ain't nothing, oh, okay. them legs have been closed we'll as far play. as, yeah, as we'll, far I'll as I know. I'll play along with that. The stork trying. did it. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that, that's what needs to happen. Okay. The world would be a better place if we can get that stork to be living, and then folks and act like they got some sense and stay off from each other's legs like that. That causes problems, causes pain and agony and hurt when you involve the two lenses together. Yes, pleasure and all you think, but as soon as something goes wrong and them pleasures or them, them legs that you had that was taken away from you, it hurts. Stay away from them. They ain't no good for you. No good for you. So I'm just trying to figure out, do women really cheat? Yes, women cheat. There you have it, y'all. I don't want to hear nothing this else. say like women lie, men lie, women lie, men lie, women lie. Men I don't want to hear nothing else on these posts <laughs> talking about only men cheat. Not, no, women cheat too. I would love to see that post. They put them out there, man. That they post put them out there. Right there. So tonight, tonight, um, uh oh, hold on a second. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Quick, quick humanitarian moment. Okay. Cousin, I have received the text. Um, and uh, it is from my other first cousin, Gregory. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Gregory is recovering. If anybody out there yes. understands, our cousin went through a traumatic experience. Uh, yes. He is uh, temporarily uh, paralyzed. But God we keep it out the faith and the hope because God kept him with us. Yes. Why well, I just received All the time, him. God is good and... God is wow. good all the time. Wow. New OnlyFans post from... Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, oh, so you, cousin, done, you done uh, got a subscription no, to one I ain't got no, You got no. a subscription. See? See? Cousin, see? Nah, see? You're Greg. messing up. You're messing up. You're you're messing up. No, you Greg. effing up. Gregory. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got a text from Gregory, and mm -hmm. he was like, we are going to be having a call with Gregory tomorrow uh, to discuss some things uh, in regards to his homecoming. Whoop, whoop. He is returning back to Dallas, and we will be there to support him, do it all. So his health and rehabilitation. Shout out to my cousin Gregory. Shout is out. He is also the fitness ambassador for making moves, thanking God. Right. Yeah. So right. we look forward to that conversation, and uh, also tonight we uh, will be seeing the Mavericks in action mm -hmm. at the Clippers. That first game was something. We had the Knicks. The first game let everybody know that. And you know what? Let me go ahead and pull these scores. Get everybody just a gist of what's going on. Mm -hmm. NBA Let's scores real quick for the playoffs. And here we go. So, the first round of the playoffs took place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. And choo -choo -choo -choo. Sorry, Google is not working. Excuse me, Mr. Google. Give me a second. Playoffs. Here we go. All right. So it started on Monday. Um, the game that started off the playoffs was. Why is it not giving me my numbers here? Okay. Round one. Here we go. First. Okay. So we had Jazz and Nuggets. And that went into OT where the Nuggets took that one. We had the Raptors and the Nets. <clears throat> and the Raptors. Without, without the claw, <laughs> how are the Raptors still doing this? Because you would think that when he left to go to the clip joint, when Kawhi the took off, joint. you figured that Toronto would be in dire straits. Because when LeBron left the Cavs, they had nothing. But when Kawhi leaves Toronto, they in this they mud, still doing they zone. doing their thing. They tiptoeing and tap dancing. Exactly. Okay. The Celtics beat the 76ers. The Clippers edged the Mavs. Then you had the eight seed Magic, Orlando Magic, beating Milwaukee Bucks. Did you talk yes. about the Blazers? Did you bring up the Blazers? Did not. Did not get in there. Uh, the Heat beat the Pacers. Mm -hmm. The Rockets, the Beard, beat the Thunder with Beard. CP3. And <clears throat> then the last game of night two, uh, first game. The Trail Blazers of Portland. Dame time was in effect. Toppled 
LB Jizzle and his Lakers. Danced all over. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's because sorry. that might know you don't believe you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let me get to this. Okay. Um, it's, t- it's kind of too close to say this. Mm-hmm. But I want to say it. Okay. I'll say it next. Uh, no, because next week could be little. I'm, I'm okay. going. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Blazers and seven. You think so? Blazers and seven. Why do you think? That? I think that the Blazers got too much going on. They on the hot streak. They on fire. They on all cylinders. And LeBron is looking quite Tired? Uncle Drew. If you will. Oh, that hurt. And he still did the thing. Triple double last night. I can't front on the man. He's still LeBron. Besides my personal opinions about his professional career, not the man LeBron. I dig him. That's my boy. But LeBron the player. Mm -mm. Everybody already know. They they know. Okay. But triple double was good. Mm -hmm. Anthony Davis wasn't as hot as he usually is. But he got nothing from the role players. And McCullough, I don't know if Dane gave him a little something when he was sitting, but that McCullough <laughs> was going off last night. So Charles Barkley said it too, but he was being a little extra. He said it was going to be a sweep. Always. Ain't going to be no sweep. Ain't going to be no sweep. But I'm feeling blazes and seven. So you think they're going to teeter totter and then it's going to end up? I think it's going to be a mess too. Oh, okay. When it happens, because I think LeBron going to have a fit. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. The way he grabbed his purse after the uh, Warriors yes. beat them forward. <laughs> I was here for it. His what? Say that one He time. grabbed his purse and he walked right up. <laughs> his purse. So, uh, I think the Mavericks is not playing with them Clippers, though. I don't think they are either. I think that the Clippers won the first game due to some questionable um, technical fouls that was called. Uh-huh. But... I think they can learn from that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a different game. What I do like about the bubble. I want to be in this bubble. Is that, well, we already got too many hoes in that bubble. Mm -hmm. Nigga, did you just call me a hoe? I said we got too many hoes in the bubble. I don't need my cousin affiliated with them hoes. Oh, Follow where I'm going I just want to go watch the game. I don't want to be a piece of game. I don't want you to be a piece of game as a a condiment to these niggas. None of that. So clean that shit up. I, I, hey, I, got me cussing. I'm just saying. So I like the bubble because I believe that the bubble is taking away all home field advantage, advantage. home court advantage. I agree with that. And it's letting the play be the play, and we finally seeing what these players are really made of mm-hmm. without all the home crowd in the way or whatever. You know, you know what I do like? What's up? The virtual fans. I'm I in love with cool. the virtual fans. I think that's cool. I was at first I was kind of like, what are we doing? You know, because you got a baby on one, then yeah. you got a dog, and then I'm like, you know. It's neat. It's different. I, I kind of want to be a virtual well, fan. White, white people, but I want to be in the bubble. White people always want to know. We don't say white people. people. Come clear people. Because black people don't feel they sense on the dead test. Right. Well, black people don't want to put in a dog or dirt or baby. You know, put a cactus or You know, mm-hmm. yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. What's wrong with these white people? Stop being so white. So, uh-huh. yeah. So, the virtual fans, I, I, you know, I got you said. That but. was LA's mumble <laughs> minute. <laughs> Sponsored by <laughs> L.A. Purified <laughs> water. <laughs> you know, ah. uh, the right thing, right thing to do. Oh. So, uh, I, I, I think I think we go. These players are gonna stay uh, really competitive, mm-hmm. and people are gonna really see competitive basketball. All the drama kind of is gonna get taken out of it because you know how when the NBA playoffs are going on, you know, fans going crazy. Somebody hit that shot and got the announcer saying bang and all that. And then the timeout taken and the fans is up on the screen. This is making it fully competition. So I do like that. Um, next week we'll have an update on the standings. Uh, hopefully by that time. Uh, the Mavericks will have uh, made some headway and beaten the Clips. And, okay. and then we're looking forward to the demise of LBJ. Mm. I am personally, at least. Okay. And then I think next week we may have a 
another segment of Where Did It All Go Wrong? Thank y'all for tuning in again tonight. Thank you, thank you. I understand that AC has let it be known that we have got to confirm, fellas, that women do cheat. So, Mm -hmm. understand that episodes formerly of No I'm Right and new episodes with AC Mm -hmm. is available on No I'm Right 100. Mm -hmm. That is YouTube.com. Forward slash No I'm Right 100. Shout out Nathan. I appreciate that. Hey, Nate. Uh, the episode from last week has to get reloaded. Only three minutes got loaded on the site. Not quite sure. Technical difficulties. We'll get that worked out for tonight as well. Mm. Also, Cutting Up With LA Season 1 is available on YouTube. That is YouTube.com slash Cutting Up With LA. Uh, I need a piece of that too. And Season 2 is underway. We're going to start filming next week. Woo-hoo. So we got that popping. Also, please get your gear at MMTG clothing on Instagram. That is MMTG clothing. Mm. You can get all your finest where we do custom apparel and you can get your it shit collection, making moves, thanking God, and of course the drip came from Mr. CEO himself. Okay. So again, we appreciate y'all for showing up one more Wednesday. Mm. And we are gonna be signing out here at the executive suites at KMWI Media Studios. Mm. This is your main man, L.A. Runs Dallas, cool in the fan, A.C. said, good night, y'all. And as always, I'm always right. No, he's not. I'm always right. Next week, folks. We out.